Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about anti-squat suspension geometry. Now if you haven't yet checked out my videos on anti-dive geometry as well as roll centers, you may want to check those out first as they'll help in understanding this. So basically the idea of anti-squat geometry is that you want to prevent body squat um, by loading the suspension linkage rather than the suspension, uh, the springs and the shocks. So what you're doing essentially is putting uh, the force of accelerating into your control arms, your suspension linkage, rather than that spring and shock so that the rear of the vehicle doesn't compress. And so typically this is going to be done with vehicles with really high power to weight ratios because they're the ones that are going to have enough acceleration in order to produce a significant body lean uh, back towards the rear under acceleration. Um, and so essentially what we're looking at here is the exact same thing as with anti-dive geometry, except instead of this being the front axle uh, and the car going this direction, this is the rear axle and the car is going to be going this direction. And so what you want to do um, is you're going to have your suspension linkage and the point at which they intersect, uh, where that intersects, if you draw a line connecting uh, lower underneath the tire to that point uh, and then extend that out to the center of gravity, the line bisecting the center of gravity of the vehicle, uh, then essentially what you're going to be doing, this point right here is going to tell you your percentage of anti-squat, just like it does with anti-dive geometry and very similar to roll centers. And so if this distance uh, is where this point is located is 60% of the distance to the center of gravity, then this will have 60% anti-squat geometry. And then very simply, once again, with 100% anti-squat geometry, basically all you're doing is making sure that the point at which the suspension linkage intersect is on the line connecting the center of gravity and the center of the tire on the ground. And so as long as that's the case, as long as that intersection occurs on this line, you're going to have 100% anti-squat geometry. So why would you want to use anti-squat suspension geometry? Well, basically, if you're looking at a drawing here, and this is just a simple car accelerating, you can see that when it's static, you know nothing's wrong with this picture. You've got a full contact patch with your tires on the ground. But under acceleration, and granted this is a bit exaggerated, but so that you can understand the point, under acceleration, when that body goes down, those wheels are going to camber out. Uh, so you're going to have some negative camber influence, typically based on the suspension design. And so you're going to be reducing your contact patch. And when you're reducing your contact patch, you're reducing the amount of traction that you have uh, and so you're going to have worse acceleration overall. So you don't want to have too much body lean because not only will it influence uh, the rear, but it'll also you'll have lift in the front and you'll change the suspension geometry up front as well. So you're ideally you're trying to maintain a certain suspension geometry and you're also trying to keep a level ride height and that could be for aerodynamic purposes. Now the downside is that you will have uh, a stiffened suspension in the rear because you're putting all of that loading through the suspension components rather than through the spring and shock uh, and so you can have less compliance with the rear suspension but for things like drag cars something like this is actually really useful um, so you know you could go with a lot of anti-squat geometry uh, and get better drag times um, whereas you know for a track car where you have turns and things like that and also rougher conditions uh, then you may want to not use quite as much uh, because it'll have a, a big negative impact on your suspension being able to maintain contact with the road. So thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below.